And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Lux. Going to be our last deck today. Wanted to play a Lux deck. It's been a while since we played um, a deck with Lux in it. And Lux is a fun champion to play. Creating final sparks and blowing up your opponent's board is always a lot of fun. So we're going to try some Lux. We're going to be pairing Lux with Ezreal um, in this version. Going with PNZ, Demacia, going with... A control deck, but also that has a, a good amount of card draw. We're gonna be, we're gonna have like a cycle sub theme. We're gonna create cards to cycle away with the Chump Wumps and Clumpa Wumps, and then we're gonna discard them with Sump Dredger, Get Excited, Rummage. Uh, we also have Jury Rigs to discard, so maybe we have more cards to discard than not. But um, yeah, so we're gonna have a decent amount of cards to discard and uh, filter through the deck. Oh yeah, then Zonite Urchin. That's the other one there. So you know our Urchin, our Sump Dredger. Those are going to be filtering through our deck, getting us to our champions with Ezreal and Lux faster. A couple Unyielding Spirits because of all the Shadow Isles decks running around these days. Unyielding Spirit on our champions is going to be really good. Basically, either champion with Unyielding Spirit is going to be pretty good. So that's going to be our deck. Looks like the, the puppy dogs are pretty excited about this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's uh, give this one a try. See, they're both, they're both like right here, all excited about it. Oh, yeah, this is Puppy's favorite deck. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here, yeah, Pup. Come on. Oh. And we're playing against Tom Kent Soraka. So, yeah, we had someone come to the door, so we had to uh, retry games here. Let's get to our next game. Unyielding Spirit, not so good against Hush. So we'll mulligan that. We don't really need to keep an 8-mana card. Um, I'm just going to mulligan the Jury Rig also. Because even though it could be a, a discard payoff, it's not like it's that good of a payoff for this matchup. I could discard the Static Shock. Like Static Shock's not gonna, like Static Shock draws a card, but it's not gonna really do very much for this matchup. It's two. I guess it's like two targets with the Ezreal. I am here to it does that, and it could break up a Bastion. It does some things, but not a lot. Cool, they can't have Bastion anymore. So that should work. No Bastion, no Astral Protection. Good. Don't give them the free healing. Well, now they got free healing. See if it's worth it playing the Ezreal right now. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. I'm not sure. Anything helps. <laughs> Can't stop me. Basically, gonna be you know using the Ezreal to try to level up. Ezreal. I don't love where we're at here. I feel better when you feel better. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't love over right here. Okay, so we're at only at two for Ezreal right now. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Yeah, Star Spring definitely looks like a card that's really difficult for us to deal with. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. And should I just discard my Mystic Shot? It's like I have to target their things, but targeting their things just helps out their Star Spring. But I need to level up Ezreal. I, I kind of wish I didn't discard the, uh, the thing that can get two targets now. I'm not... Uh, I mean, I guess I need, do need to be worried about that card a little bit. I'm more worried about this Broadback Protector. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. This would be normally a good time to uh, proc or unyielding spear at the Ezreal. But unyielding spear against Hush isn't valuable enough. I wasn't too confident in get excited, kill Broadback Protector. I don't miss. That's gotta hurt. Now I don't have room for that free spell. Hi, I'm Lux. No, wait, that's you. Sorry, do I know you? They are kind of low on cards. That is true. Stand back. Their star springs at fourteen. Pablo's been down, but his knee out. Ah, I told your ancestors to protect. Hopefully this works. Yuck. It's ugly. Start the round. Should have stayed home, pal. That makes it seventeen. Where are you, spirit? Excuse you. Three mana right now. Better, brighter than before. Can't stop that. No, can't stop that. I'll protect you. Okay, good. That still counts as a target for Ezreal. Good. Hmm. Should have played the Zonai Ur Urchin first. Is that 17? They're out of cards. Tell me, mask, it's a kill me tail. It's tough to die. 
Doesn't look good. So my goal is definitely going to be to kill them this turn. Another path, another problem. Okay. My goal is no longer to kill them this turn. Let's see what they drew. Yeah, if they went to eight, I think they were dead. I think at 13, like this block, I think they stay alive. I didn't do no math though. I didn't didn't really count it out. Yeah, I guess I have. I guess I have eight damage. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then uh, I guess plus another three, so I could have like 11 right now. 12? Ooh, maybe I can have 12. Wait, okay, so let's see. Where are you at? You're at 2? Let's cast these first. I'm not going to use my Mystic Shot right away. Because I want to see, see what they have. If that's just like another unit in hand, I think this kills them. Right, because this would put them, yeah, like this would put them down to three, and then Mystic Shot would kill them. Speed things up a little. A beacon through the dark. It'd be the most patient guiding touch if they were just holding on to guiding touch. That'd be very patient. Okay, well that was pretty impressive, of just, um, you know, firing off a, a ton of damage there that one turn. Um, you know, they were basically at full health, and getting all it. Yeah, I guess they, I think they were at full health, and just killing them that one turn. Game show. Ooh, Fiora alone with Targon. So Fiora with a bunch of Targon cards. There's a lot of protection in Targon. This is interesting. These are good against Fiora. So we'll just keep all these. Like, Sharp Sight's good because it, you know, makes it more difficult for Fiora to kill something. Yeah, so they probably have other stuff. They could have, like, dragons and things like that. It's pro like, Fiora's probably not their only unit, would be my guess. Bask in her radiant blessing. Oh, they go written in stars. So written in stars gives them five five Fiora. Wow, that's they would fall by my blade. It's good deck building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nines. So yes, I can draw another card. Anything else? <laughs> the sun rock got me cold. Time for fools. I think we can get them. Hmm. That's what I was gonna say. Is the my worst case scenario is them having their own sharp saints. I mean, we have another. I guess it's not so bad yet because we just play another sharp sight. Never mind. I was thinking that.
I set it up where get excited. For the honor of house rhyming. Get excited plus mystic shot. I can't tap out with thermogenic beam. I'm just never gonna kill this thing, am I? Yeah, like, I, don't, I don't know if I can actually kill this thing now. I guess I shouldn't. I, I guess that attack was bad. I thought I thought I had a good attack with that chump lump of like, you know, having the three spells to go along with the chump lump, but I guess that wasn't enough. Interesting. The sun is shining. We should too. There's still a hush deck. GG's. There's always a light in the darkness. That was a crazy game. So I guess that's how that yeah, that so I guess that worked out perfectly for my opponent. So yeah, just Fiora alone with you just have to draw written in stars that draws your Fiora. I didn't expect them to be that Fiora alone but yeah, they were. All right, and we're playing against the very large units of the Overwhelm. I can't imagine this is good for me with all of my really small units against really big units. Like, you know, look at Static Shock. Like, come on, what are we doing? We're gonna Static Shock some Sejuani and Darius. Our opponent's deck just preys on PNZ removal. I have my orders. Unyielding spear can be a real card. Moving into sight. Cool, so we got Clump of Wumps back. That allows us to uh, have a Mushroom Cloud to discard for some treasure. Still definitely not feeling good about this one. So I'm going to try, maybe I should be discarding the Unyielding Spear, but I'm going to try to do this. Everything's in place. Okay, then I was going to have one mana Thermogenic Beam. Damn it. Or if they played, you know, if they played something else, then I was going to have that. Really, Chump Bump could have just had you last turn, so I didn't have to waste to get excited in a progress day. But I, I don't imagine us having time to like spend eight mana on a progress day. I mean, they, they're not going to run out. Like, they have, like, their champions, Sejuani, Darius, both of those are backbreaking. Your command, General Darius. Never mind, that was a good thermogenic beam. Okay. That's good. For 
display of skill. Watch and Three learn. mystic shots. To shoot the two two. Or not. Anything else? <laughs> Ooh. That is good. We have drawn really well this game. We really have, but I guess that's what happens whenever you draw so many extra cards, right? Like, you know, we've drawn extra five cards and they have. That's, that, that's what can happen, is you can just draw really well. Wait, that's you. Sorry, do I know you? Next, they're at the last card. All right, gotcha that. Block here. Block. Here, here. Hmm. I guess I could go there, 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 there. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Then that thing's a six one. Okay, so we're at four spell mana so far. Anything else? <laughs> Routes closed. We're in this together. Pushing my limit. And of course. Doing this to get the final spark where I don't have to use Unyielding Spirit yet. I think we got this one. I think we're going to be two and, two and one. Of course, I've thought that for a couple of turns now. Yeah, we drew, we drew really well. Well, maybe it will actually shuffle a Lux into your deck. I guess that would be a created card. So the question is, is like, will Victor count like for the champion spells when to shuffle a copy? I guess that is creating a card that you're shuffling into your deck. So yeah, I guess that would count for Victor for creating cards. Yeah, I think so. Playing against some spiders, so some more aggro. Like our chances here, especially if we draw as well as we did last game. Okay, this is not starting off as well. We're gonna need to keep. Oh, no, no, I mulliganed you. I thought I clicked the progress day. I must have just missed it while I was clicking. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to rummage you away progress day. I did not want that progress day. Um, I was talking about the gotchas. The gotcha is a good removal spell against both of their champions, Elise and uh, Draven. But, you know, it's also for me and a... Good house spider. Trade... Trade with my mystic shots. Okay, well that's me being dumb. I should wait till combat, I guess. Not a card I was expecting, Crawling Sensation. I wonder if that's going to be the difference, if me saving that two lives is going to be the difference. Oh, come on. I'll take that. They're not advancing their board. So that's fine with me. E. That is not fine with me, though. I should have an additional two life if I would have 
uh, played correctly with the Mystic Shot during combat. I can't risk them just going to their turn and I waste all my mana. The party uh, even though I was going to say that I would rather kill a champion. The thing about Draven, though, is at least I can block Draven with the 1-1, where I couldn't block that fearsome thing with the 1-1. Frenzied Skitter. Looks like if I play Lux, we block there, block there, take 2, 4, 6, 9. We go down to 3. Or I, play, or I block here, play Static Shock. That's actually us taking the exact same amount of damage. That's us also taking nine. So I guess it's better to play the Lux. Right up. Never back down from what you believe. So definitely helping no decimate. I would be much more comfortable at five life than my current predicament at three life. Those crawling sensations to go along with the Frenzied Skitter, really nice combination. Last game, I, I top decked really well, like all, all last game. This deck they have, like, you know, last turn they drew Frenzied Skitter, which was perfect. This this turn they drew, you know, because you can tell what they draw, because, you know, it's over here. They drew that Glimpse Beyond, which is perfect. Kind of wish like those two were flipped, right? I wish they would have drawn Glimpse Beyond last turn and Frenzy Skitter this turn. Okay, so you're four out of six. I know the sharp side doesn't do anything, but what it does do is it gets me the final spark. And then I have three mana still for Thermogenic Beam. Terribly. That went terribly. Losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. And we're playing against control with the uh, Trundle Trendomere. So yeah, that was kind of fair game. You know, every all of my cards were awesome against the Darius deck, and it, it all worked out great. Everything matched up perfectly, and then you know, same thing. For my opponent the other way. So I really can't complain. I'm, I'm just kind of looking at the sharp sight. If I'm going to want it or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if sharp sights... I don't know. It's just a great card, so I'm going to keep it. But also, I don't know. Still see far and clear. Yeah, Avros and Sentries, such a great card. Every single time I see that card played. Greatness. So the spider gives me a target for Ezreal. Um, 
play like the O3 or anything like that. Let's cast this thing. Draw a card. Trading a sharp sight for a withering whale. It's a good trade. Well, basically mana wise, it's a good trade. To die. It's only number two. But I'm king. Yeah, it's it's been a while to see a Ragnoid host, but it's not bragging if you could my card can get some work done. Gotcha. Can do surprisingly well. My blade grows restless. Put them down to 12. We could have a lot of Nexus damage. All these Mystic Shots and everything. Of course, we're going to need to play a new Ezreal. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem indeed. Follow my blade. No way. I thought you'd never ask. This is not going to be easy. Uh, at 11. Oh, I meant to... I need... I need, probably need to do some sharp sights. 2 out of 6. I yeah, probably need to cast some sharp sights there. Firing. But still, like... You know, this deck with all the frost bites and... All the Nexus healing. Don't expect this to go well for me. They could draw 10 puff caps. That could happen. Down to one. Okay, not dead yet. I expect it to be dead already. Definitely expect it to be dead already. 
Oh, wait. Ledros kills me. Hmm. Well, what we got? Okay, okay. Yeah, not gonna be the easiest game to win. I guess that also kills me. Not if I kill me first. Aha! They couldn't kill me. I was already dead. Alright, so it turns out Mystic Shot's not good against Trindomir. I think that's what we kind of learned with that, is that one side has Mystic Shots, the other side has Trindomir and Ledros. I think I'll take the side of Trindomir and Ledros, but... Yeah, we did, we did find lethal. We found lethal, that's for sure. So there we go, there's Ezreal Lux. That kind of matchup, we need my opponent to be a lot slower, not have, you know, not ramp into Trundle, into Trindomir, into Ledros, all those early. That's the exact kind of hand that we lose to. If they just have like a more controlly hand and, you know, like instead they they have things like, you know, like Vengeance and, and all their removal and Ruination and all that kind of stuff, maybe we can um, get a champion in play and slip an Unyielding Spirit on there especially Lux, you know, try to get like a, a Lux with an Unyielding Spirit. And then, you know, like we have time for like the, a lot of final sparks to kill them and, and things like that. But, um, you know, if they, they ramp into those really, really big threats really fast, we're, we're going to lose. And that that's what happens. We're, um, we're going to struggle against that. And I kind of expected that to happen with the Darius and um, the Darius deck, the Darius Sejuani deck. But they didn't end up playing the big threats. They just actually kind of were just like a small Noxus deck and just all had those small Noxus threats except for a couple of Darius. And by the time they had Darius, I had Thermogenic Beam for Darius and we were able to win that one. So our deck was all right. I think that it, I don't know, it's, it felt like it was kind of missing stuff. I don't know if if like all of the Mushroom Cloud discard stuff, if that was really that great. We, we really seemed to struggle um, leveling up Ezreal. We didn't seem like a very good level up Ezreal deck. So I, I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like we could have could have been doing some different stuff. You know, like we could go like more Lux style and go like Remembrance, you know, with the Lux and everything like that. But um, I don't know. We we're just kind of our deck was all right. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't particularly great. It was all right. Well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know, always leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you got any ideas to make it better or if you got any other ideas for Ezreal, Lux decks, anything like that. Love that feedback. But thank you so much for watching some Ezreal Lux and I'll see you for the next video.